Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is episode number twenty-nine. In the last episode, we explain and introduce the transaction map theory (TMT), and we explain it's a new idea. And uh, we said it's divided by four parts: uh, definition. And we explain what is definition is. Assumption, and we introduce the assumption. Then the technique, and we explain the technique. Now we're going to put the assumption for test now by the application. We start with the first uh, category, which is the most important category. Is money for money. Before I go money for money, people say when we come to the Sharia condition, why the Sharia say you, you shouldn't do that and why you should do that? We should be able to do anything we want. That's wrong, because as a human uh, rational, you do things for uh, objective. You need. Yeah, for aim and the uh, Sharia condition guarantee to achieve that aim and nothing and this is very important human needs in this life or in life in general have been denied to do everything you need to do Sharia will allow you to do it, but it put a condition, it put a condition in order for you to achieve the aim of this action. And we'll see here that now we're going to apply it. We take the first category, money for money. Why people uh, change or exchange money for money? The first thing is very important is loan. Well, this is uh, the most subjected to usual loan. When we explain uh, sustenance independence as a principle, we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps to risk He make it abundant sustenance, provision for anyone as he likes and make it less for somebody else. Then some people have, will, would have more money than he needs and some people would have less money. That's why the need of loan. Then if somebody has less money than he need in a particular time. Then loan is fulfilling that area. You should have loan. Then the first category is money for money. The idea of law here is to have a loan. Then loan is very important, as we say, whatever human need or important in their life, the Sharia will organize it. Then the loan is two parts, two uh, circle of loan. The first loan is from somebody who have more money than he need and somebody in need. And the one who had more than he, more money than he needs, he he feel ob obliged. He feel that in moral sense or ethical, he feel that he should give to the one who don't who need to have that extra money or some of his extra money. That I call takyif al-fiqhi. That's the first circle of the loan. 
Loan is very important that we have to understand. It's two uh, different areas of loan where somebody feel obliged, whatever his motive is, to give somebody in need some money. Then in order to achieve that objective, this is the condition of loan. First, the loan, you have to consider it as the loan for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. من يقرض الله قرضا حسنا. And the ayah here is very clear. You see, the Baqarah mentioned 245. The Baqarah, من ذا الذي يقرض الله قرضا حسنا فيضاعفه له أضعافا كثيرة. Tell me, if you are Muslim and you have a uh, feeling in your heart toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you got this call, man dhalladhi yuqlidu Allah qadda al-hasan, you would rush, of course, to give the money. Fayudha'ifu, then you're not losing any money. You've been given the money by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ask you to not to give him back to lend him and he will give you more you can't be in a better position than this that's al-Baqarah Surah al-Hadid ayah 11 man dha alladhi yuqridu allaha qardan hasanan fayudha'ifuhu lahu وَلَهُ أَجْرٌ كَرِيمٌ It's the same, similar, but it's different. Because the loan would have more, more than one stage. And you will see here the reward is more than uh, one stage of reward. And this is how the uh, precision of the Quranic text. The third one, التغابن. إن تقرض الله قرضا حسنا يضاعفه لكم ويغفر لكم والله شكور حليم. It's very very clear uh, text to encourage to do the the loan. And as I mentioned at the beginning, whatever human needs, Allah subhanahu wa taala provide a mechanism. To fulfill that need. And every of those ayah have a particular reward. This is the, the, the Quranic text. And in the other hand, the hadith of the Prophet. When he was in the Isra wa Ma'raj, when he descended to the uh, high, he saw is written on the heaven or above the heaven or the whatever as the Prophet described. Then charity is ten times rewarded, and al qard eighteen. Time reward. And the Prophet was a bit surprised. He asked Angel Jibreel why a loan, a qard, is more rewarded than Hasana. And he's been replying that uh, Al Hasana to be given to somebody, maybe he had something. But the loan would have not been asked unless he in, in need. Then this is the condition of the loan. Then if you want to give somebody a loan, you have before you start 
at least consider that you giving the loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and at least that loan reward is if the hasana is 10 times the loan is 18 times and that first thing secondly after you give the loan وَإِنْ كَانَ ذُو عُسْرَةٍ فَنَظِرَةٌ إِلَى مَيْسَرَةٍ then before you give the loan, you have to consider that he given a loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and consider reward. And after you give the loan, you wait. Somebody say, wait, when he going to repay the loan? Actually, there is a condition for loan. It cannot be decided when you repay. You cannot give somebody a loan and say you have to pay me back in that uh, time. How 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 dare somebody give loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask him to pay back in a specific time? And that linguistically, in language as a loan, and a condition. وَإِن كَانَ عُسْرَةٍ فَنَظِرَةٌ إِلَى he has difficulty, you have to give him more time. And the third stage is وَإِن تَصَدَّقُوا خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ And if you say, okay, forget about uh, the loan, consider it as sadaqah, charity. That is even better for you. Then we're talking about the first area of loan. This first area, we said it is a social area, it's a moral area. Somebody feel obliged to give somebody in need money. And he has to consider that he give it to him as he give it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Cannot have specific time for that loan to be repaid. And when can I do usuratin for another to Allah my sara? If you have difficulties, you have to give him more time. When to sadaku khayrun lak. Then somebody come and say, well, I, somebody asked me uh, for loan for five or ten thousand pound. Or well, sometimes you come and say hundred thousand, but that's not a loan. That's something else. We'll come to it later. We're talking about doing in a reasonable amount. Whatever it is, once you give him, before you give him, to, you have to put this condition. You can't put a time for repay. You have to understand that this loan is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second condition, that's the third one. And you get in uh, may nearly double the hasana as a charity. Then looking at the area now, when you apply that condition, you would achieve the social element, which you started with. You start from a social moral, ethical, then you achieve those. If you understand this and you don't want to do it, don't do it. It's better not to do it and complain. If you decide to give loan, you have to understand the condition of loan. For example, if I give somebody a loan, I'm decided this would be a good uh, or a loan, I would never expect for him uh, to pay my I would love to, 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 to 
um, uh, to turn it to charity. And this is the nature of the law. But we will have uh, the loan need two persons, somebody who give the, the loan and somebody who receive. In order to have a social balance, and this is very important, the Prophet وسلم, as he recite the text of the Quran, encourages people to give loan. But the other side who took the money, who took the loan, he dealt with it completely different. He encouraged the people who took money to repay in order to create a trust in the society. To let the people give more loan because he knows whoever he gives the loan to, he is keen at least to pay him back. And when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, somebody died and asked to pray for him, he asked, does he have any loan? Have somebody repaid his debt? If he say no, he said, I won't pray unless his debt is being prayed. Then he deal with the situation in two parts, encouraging people to give loan and discouraging people not to repay. Although the encouragement is, is uh, outweighed and as well, if you can't not sincerely repay your loan, then you've got something from a zakah, a share from a zakah for al muhramin al muhram the one who has loan and cannot pay or repay that loan, then from the community, there is a share from the zakah to pay off those people who cannot repay the loan. It took some time because this is very important, uh, a bit of activity. The other thing which is called a dain, the difference between loan and a dain. And we know as in the text says, من يقرض الله قرضا حسن and حسن some people translate it beautiful loan yeah I, I have no problem with the word beautiful but I mean حسن to achieve its objective good loan you can say but linguistically to achieve its activity uh, its uh, achieve its objective the one way I was explaining that's me حسن and حسنه because it's for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can't be something more bitter, or best thing you can do is dealing with Allah directly and get the reward from Him directly. A dain is completely different. When we start, we said, loan from somebody who has some money and feel obliged to give somebody need, a dain is completely different. A dain is a necessity sometimes between, I would call it, that's my suggestion, the people who is in the market trading. Because if you are in trade, your balance will, while the other traders, not all the time zero, you're either in debt or credit. And to cancel out this, you need a mechanism. The mechanism is to write the debt and pay it as the conventional or in the, the whatever the, 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 the environment uh, apply rules in that area. 
then you pay only the original capital. You don't increase. Otherwise, we're going to gain, say, this is you have to pay more and to increase and make it go to straight away to the unclear area of usury. Then the dine is different than loan. The dine is between trader or the people who is, uh, have enough money. They're not in need, but sometimes they are short of cash and trade uh, help each other in order to, have, to reach the balance here, which is important for the market, is to pay only the debt, no one uh, pence more or less. And this is the social balance to achieve the objective. The objective is to make life easy between traders and to make uh, trade function as quickly as efficient. Then in the area of money for money, we're dealing with loan and the loan two part, the social area and the trade or the non-social area. And every area has condition. The loan has a condition, the dine has a condition. And in every area, that condition is, a con is, is the way to achieve the objective. Then we can now say we finish the first category of money for money and the most important one is loan. Next episode, we will take another objective for changing money for money. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.